Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have our 2007 Toyota Camry and we're gonna fix this rear view mirror today. We're gonna paint it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that when we come back. All right, first step. What kind of paint do I need? Well, the, the vehicle will tell you exactly what kind of paint you need. If you go here onto the sticker, there's a C, color and trim. Color trim code is 040 and trim code is FA40. So I think that's sand for the inside color. And then 040 is the color of the paint. So we're gonna try to match that paint at the auto parts store. So as you can see, when you go into the store, you can find Toyota 040. And you can also do that for these duplicolor uh, colors here. However, I found a Nissan white for $5 off. So I'm gonna use that since it's, a, it's just the mirror. It's a small amount of paint. So, uh, because they don't have, <laughs> they don't have a lot of their items. So I'm just gonna go with what I can get. I also went ahead and bought a primer because we're gonna need that as well. We're also gonna need to scuff the surface, but we're gonna use a scrub pad for that. All right, so we get it off the same way as before. You just pull that off, take the little connector out, and you gotta get these 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter nuts off of there. Not hard at all. Should pull right off just like that. Next, next we're gonna take the mirror down, put your fingers in there, and pop it down just like so. Okay, we're gonna take the mirror out. All right, you put your fingers in there and kind of guide it off. That's how you do it. All right, now we're ready. Uh, we're gonna have to mask this portion off right here, the black portion. But the rest, we're gonna paint white. All right, we're gonna clean this before we start masking it up because I have a bunch of water spots, I have a bunch of bug, bug spots. Okay, I've cleaned it really good. I've also cleaned it inside right here where you can sort of see uh, the white, or I'm sorry, you're gonna see the red whenever the white is painted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this with a little bag or something like that. And then we're gonna we're gonna tape really carefully around here, and then tuck our tape inside to make it nice. And then we're gonna completely cover the edges of that to where we don't get any white paint oversprayed. Okay, I'm gonna tack the inside with a all the bits here. I'll tuck all the that in here, and it's a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna use that. I can either zip tie it on or I can use some of this tape to, to tape it on. I'm gonna go ahead and do the tape if I'm good with the tape. I might not be that good, but we'll see. I might be okay. Not bad. I don't think it's coming off. All right. Perfect, see how we've protected the insides, the important things? That way we can get overspray all inside there and it'll look good. Let's go ahead and mask it. What I'll do is I'll mask it in, in parts. I'm gonna go a little bit over. I'm gonna overlap just a little bit onto the, onto the black. That way what I'll do is I'll push my fingernail inside and cut. Uh, I'm actually, I'm sorry, I'm, here you go. I'm pushing my finger inside and I'm cutting the masking tape as I do that. And then I'm gonna trim the rest of it. And I'll probably grab a pair of pliers to get that excess. But I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna do that. You see that? That way, that way uh, I don't get it on the black at all. I might not need this, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go around, keep going around. 
shoving my fingernail inside the, the groove. I'm just gonna go in a, all the way around it. It's okay to overlap as many times as you want. Okay, I've got everything taped off. If you can see that, it's just tape. I use uh, painter's tape, and uh, I got this. I got this taped off. Use use some like uh, 600 grit sandpaper, and lightly go across it. So you so this is working. See how it's kind of doing that? That's what I want. I want it uniformly all the way through. I want it scratched up. That way, when we prep the surface with this uh, alcohol, it'll have something to hold on to. Uh, what's good about what's good about uh, primer is primer allows the new paint to stick better. So we're going to do it two ways. We're going to scratch it like this, scuff it, and then we're going to use primer to actually get it to adhere, uh, stick to the paint better. All right, so get it all the way around as much as you can. Okay, and then we're gonna come back for the rest. And remember, don't forget to get it on the inside because we don't want it flaking off right here on the edges and the inside. So make sure you get that bits, those bits right there too. Right around the rim, all that. On the inside, it's okay. It's not, if it flakes, we'll never see it. Right there on the edges, you don't want the flake. Almost done. So as you can see, what's happening now is it's it's a little bit dusty on the outside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over it with some alcohol on this paper towel. And make sure that we get all of it. And we're gonna we're gonna go through this and a lot of paper towels until when we wipe, it's clean. wipe around the inside like so and I'm just gonna let it dry uh, as you can see uh, some of the paint some of the paint has come off that ha that's how we know we did a good job okay so as you can see I have a little stand here uh, and what I've done is I've bent a I've bent a a, a clothes hanger I've, cut, I've clipped a clothes hanger and hung it inside there to where it balances that way I can move it around like this if I need to, but it goes back to where it, where it was. Uh, if you guys have a ladder or something like that, you could probably hang it from that. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that this is sh uh, shaking really well. And uh, then I'm gonna apply it. We're gonna spray, 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 spray. And we're gonna keep moving around, I'll show you. Like that. Getting good coverage. This is the primer. And as you can see, I got a lot of wind, so that's why you want to move your other cars out of the way. Don't forget to spray inside. You don't need a lot, but the red paint is going away from the from the factory. You don't need a heavy coat, just enough to let your regular paint stick. All right, we're gonna let that dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. And as you can see, we got uniform coverage. Okay, it looks pretty good. And next step is gonna be the white. We're gonna do the white next, but we're gonna do it in, sta in stages. Okay, I've got the white paint, white paint shaking as well. So uh, let's go over it with the first, the first pass. Take it in between. Yeah. 
You actually should be doing this in a area where there's no wind. <clears throat> Get the insides real good. And let the first pass dry. See how I have this on the, on the pivot? I can manipulate it. As you can see, we have good coverage. It's nice and glossy. Yep, not too bad. Not too bad, but you know, we're not painting an entire door, so this is an easy job with a spray can. That's got a little bit of orange peel to it. I mean, we could dress it up by buffing it, uh, but we're gonna see how it looks on the car. All right, let's have a look at this thing. All right, taking that. See what I did? I made this little S hook thing. I use it for a lot of things. All right, let's pull this tape off of here. See how we did. All right, and then get this off of here. It should be just like we left it. See how that paint comes off flaking? All right, looking good. But not bad. All right, so let's put everything back, back in the car and get the mirror back on where it needs to be. All right, there you go, ready to go. Okay, let's put the mirror back. Get to click the little click, little clicker in there. Put this little guy back. And lastly, we're gonna install our mirror glass. And it's pretty easy. You just connect the two electrical connectors. Hopefully, you can see through the glass. I'm connecting the electrics. I'm gonna connect the bottom and click it on the top should be good to go okay it's white it's whitish slightly different color than the car but hey it's white let's see not too bad not too bad all right folks well there it is so we did a, a quick a quick repair of the rear view mirror after it's been broken uh, we took a mirror that had a red color to it and turned it white. And if you'd like to see this type of thing on the channel, uh, like and subscribe. I appreciate your, your participation. See you next time.